Hello and welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. I am here today to show you how to make this adorable sweet strawberry hello there card which is featured in my stamp of the month club for February. This card uses the sweet strawberry stamp set and strawberry builder punch. So let's get started. First thing I have is a card base of Poppy Parade and I've got it scored in the middle so I'm going to just fold that in half with the bump to the inside and burnish it with my bone folder. Um, inside my kit I've also got a four by five and a quarter piece of basic white and I'm just going to go ahead right now and attach that to the inside of my card. I'm just going to center that right in the middle here. Okay, so now on the front of the card, I'm going to stamp these random images that you can see on here. So to start with, I am going to use my Poppy Parade and the outline image in the stamp set of the strawberry, so this guy here. Okay. And I'm just going to randomly stamp strawberries on this so they're nice and subtle, but it gives it a really nice feel. Okay, we don't want too many because we are going to put some other images on there. So there's my strawberries. Okay, and then with garden green, I am going to stamp the, the berry tops here. Okay, so I've got both of my top um, the outline and the fill-in on one block opposite sides because down the road in this card we will need both so it's just a way to not have as many blocks um, so I'm just gonna stamp these tops over top of the strawberry okay so we're just like that and then the, the next thing I'm going to do is with the smallest straw, our floral image, the outline, I'm now going to fill in some of these spaces using that stamp with some early espresso ink. This stamp is very, very cute. I, see all kinds of fun summer projects um, these adorable strawberries and even the floral images are super cute maybe just one more up there okay so there we've got the card base um, all decorated and then while we have the stamps out I've just got a additional piece of whisper white here um, if you're in the club, it'll have a little hole in it indicating that this is a piece you're going to use to stamp on. And with this one, what we're going to do is we are going to stamp all of these images here. Okay. So we are going to start with the strawberry outline again. This time we are going to do cherry cobbler for the outside. So make sure you clean your stamp in between if you're following along. You don't want to get your, your inks all mucked up. So I've gone ahead and cleaned mine and I'm just going to do one outline here. Um, actually, you know what? Back up. I want to show you guys something first. So this is the Strawberry Builder Punch. So if you're using the punch, um, then you want to pay attention to the way these are on here. Sometimes it can be very, very difficult to line up the images um, if you're freehand stamping them with the punch. So you can do two things. You can create a template and you can hold the template in place and stamp the images where you'd like them. And then when you go to punch it, it's going to line up for you. Or, and what I'm going to do today, is I am going to go ahead and punch the images out first and then go ahead and stamp them. So because I need 
two leaves. I'm gonna do make sure I get two of those. Okay. So now I have my strawberry, my two leaves, and my topper. And these little guys here are part of the stamp set, but not in the Strawberry Builder Punch. This would actually cut out the smaller floral. But if you have the small bloom punch, this does coordinate with these larger flowers. So if you don't have either of these punches, of course, you can always just fussy cut these images. Um, they're all, not all that difficult to, to stamp um, to stamp and cut. So my trick when I do the punching first is to get a dark color background. In this, I just had to happen to have a piece of um, wood grain DSP left over. So I'm just going to put that underneath so that I can see clearly where I'm stamping. And then I'm going to line this up the best I can. And stamp that down. There we go. So there's the outline of our strawberry. And then with the garden green, I'm going to stamp the outline on our leaves. So I've got that stamp here and the garden green again. It really does make a big difference to have this dark color background under your paper. Okay, and then with the garden green again as well, we are going to stamp our strawberry top. Oops. This one might be a little off. There we go. Okay, aren't they adorable? I love this stamp set. All right, so now what we want to do is fill these images in. So I've got my Poppy Parade, and now I'm going to take the solid strawberry image, and I'm just going to stamp right over top of this guy here. Perfect. All right, now we're going to use granny apple green now if you don't have all of these ink pads in your collection you can always just do the stamp off technique which is is just um, inking your stamp up and then you would stamp it onto uh, some scrap paper and then onto your image so that you're going to have different shades so you could do the full strength on the outline and the stamped off on the inside Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to use the inside for the strawberry top. There we go. So now we've got those cute pieces all ready for our strawberry. And then again, on that extra piece of white that you had, now we're going to do these cute little flowers. So with early espresso, we're going to stamp three of the outline of the image. And because I have the punch, I'm paying attention to the orientation of the punch. And it's going to be easiest to stamp it out with two petals facing down at the bottom. Okay, and then Blushing Bride. And we're going to use that to fill these flowers in. I love how this stamp set just fills it in and gives it that shaded look at the same time. Okay, so now if you have the punch, the small bloom punch, you can come on in and punch these little guys out. If not, just give them a quick um, cut with your scissors. Now this one I forgot to line up with the petals at the bottom, but 
still going to work for me here. All right. So here's all our stamped images. Ready to go. Now we're going to take this square vellum doily. These are gorgeous. I love them. They're three by three and just really, really different with the square. What I want to do is cut them diagonally in half. Yeah, you can use your scissors, you can use your paper trimmer, whatever you're comfortable with. So I've got that cut in half, in half diagonally. And we're going to adhere it on the card front so that when we put our layers on, the, all these layers we see here, we want to be able to see the doily poking out. So you can use glue and glue it down now um, in place where you think, just kind of eyeballing where things are going to go. Or you can do what I'm going to do. So I will show you that. So I'm just going to place these on here right now without any glue. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick the Whisper White piece on top of the Garden or Granny Apple Green using some dimensionals. So we'll just put one in each corner for now. Okay, and I'm going to attach that centered over top of my granny apple green piece here. Okay, now the granny apple green is also going to be on dimensionals. So I'll go ahead and put four more on the back here, but I'm not going to adhere it quite yet. Okay, so that's ready to go. Then I've got two one inch by four inch pieces of this very delightful designer series paper, which was one of the free celebration items that you can get this year. It's gorgeous paper. You can see the backs of these beautiful berries. So this piece is going to get attached on here diagonally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put adhesive on here and that is going to catch my doilies. So rather than trying to fussy cut or fussy glue those doilies, so I don't glue everywhere. I'm just going to glue those down and hold the doilies in place that way. Okay, if I can get it off of there. So now we'll just adhere that. Oops, I didn't have that lined up very well there. Okay, like so. Can come in, and there's no real rhyme or reason to how these are on. We just want the, it to look all layered up. So put that like that. Maybe this one can come down here with that poking out, sort of like that. Okay. Now we can go ahead and put our green piece, granny apple green. right over here like so okay and it's diagonally there now if you're watching and you don't have the kit the granny apple green piece here is three and a quarter by two and a half and the whisper white is three inches by two and a quarter okay so now let's assemble these adorable strawberries so I'm gonna use some mono uh, Tombow liquid glue and I'm going to stick the leaves to the strawberry first, so just a little bit of glue there. And I'm going to stick one kind of on an angle up there. And the other one down below like so. Okay, and then I'm going to take the strawberry topper. Just put a little bit of glue on the bottom leaves here. Because that's the part that's going to touch my strawberry. Okay, how adorable is that? I love this stamp set. Okay, now this one is going to go on here with dimensionals. But before we do that, because I want to make sure it's placed properly, we're going to take this adorable little crumb cake label that I've die cut for you, and I die cut that out of the succulents dies. Um, and that we're going to stamp in early espresso with the hello there sentiment. Okay, so 
So now we can adhere this label. onto this piece here. Then when we attach our strawberry, we're gonna, once again, we're gonna use dimensionals. I love dimensionals. I'm gonna put a few there so make sure it doesn't come off. Okay, and we're just gonna tuck that guy on here, like so. Okay, now you notice that when I put the dimensionals on, I didn't put them behind the leaves because that would end up going down here, which is actually lower now. Okay, so there's our strawberry. Now for these little guys, these flowers, what we're gonna do is we're going to press them in our palm. So I take the palm of your hand, put the flower in the middle, and you're gonna take something with a rounded end, so the end of a pen. I'm gonna use my take a pick tool with the lid on, and I'm just gonna push so that they curl up slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna do that to all three of my flowers. So, and then what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of Tombow glue on the part, the center here, and stick them down on my card. So they still have, and if you want, you can use that same tool to just push down in the center, make sure it's nice and secure. What that does is it gives these beautiful flowers some dimension on top of our card. All right, so there we go. There's a little piece of doily here that's driving me crazy. There we go. All right, so the final step is to add a little bling. So I've got some three um, basic rhinestones here. I'm just gonna use the spatula end of my take a pick tool. These are gonna cooperate today. I'm just gonna add some bling for the final touch. Okay, so there we have it. There is our super cute, hello there, sweet strawberry card. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you can always decorate something on the inside, which is always super fun. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just add some more of these really cute little flowers. And then maybe a couple of the larger ones that I will fill in with pink just to kind of tie the whole card all together. And I'll take the pink again. And there we go. There's our card for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave me a comment, and visit my blog createwithbirdsnest.ca. Thanks so much.